We had a quite a few questions this week for some reason come up on the subject of maintenance and out of commission and the difference between those two in the system. So I wanted to give you a little bit of background and go over what those two functionalities do and how they can be incorporated into the system. So a little bit of background on what we have now and where we are going. Maintenance is something that we can do and log an event towards uh, individual serial number where we can open up a serial number and perform maintenance. We can configure specific predefined maintenance um, summaries as an example. Um, and then we can log those maintenance and what we've done to them. And then out of commission is a little bit different than that. That is the ability to remove an item from availability while it is being fixed. We have a third setting for serial numbers. And I haven't started moving the screen, but let me make sure that it is unpaused. And then a third setting that relates to all these is a new one that we have added uh, called decommissioned, where we can actually remove an item from availability and mark it as decommissioned. So th they're kind of three related areas, but they're almost different severities. Where maintenance is, I'm just taking something and putting it through a process and tracking that service that we did on that unit. Out of commission is something that is removing it from availability, but it is expected to come back into service in the future. Where decommissioned is something that we really don't expect to come back, to come back into service. It is basically being removed from our inventory and isn't expected to come back to life. Maybe we're using it for parts and pieces. As far as what can be done to each type of an item, uh, a non-serialized item, we can mark it as out of commission and take a specific quantity out of commission. On uh, serialized items, we can, on the serialized items themselves, we can do maintenance on the serialized items. We can mark individual units as out of commission and we can also decommission serialized items. So a little bit more functionality with a serialized item. Well, let's get to work on some of these features and how we access them. On, I've got this, I'm on my QA box right now and we're under small format breakout mixer. There is a new tab here on the 4.52 release that just shows you all the items that have been marked as out of commission. It is basically just an out of commission history, similar to a scan log, but it is just based around out of commission. If we open up a serial number, so we opened up our serial number tab, and I double click in this serial number to bring it up. Right now, there is both a maintenance log a scan log for that item and an out of commission log. So we're treating all three of these items a little bit separate. So maintenance is saying we haven't done any maintenance on this. Scan log is when we've scanned it in and out of the warehouse and out of commissions are different out of commission records. And if an out of commission item hasn't been resolved that is what leaves it as unavailable. So at three points in time in this life, this item has been taken out of commission and marked as not available to rent. And right now, all three of these action items have been resolved. So let's look at uh, the first one, maintenance log. To get to maintenance log, we can get there a couple different ways. If you were to just scan this item, it would bring up, you know, if you scanned it from the, from the default calendar area, it would bring up this unit page and you could hit log maintenance. There are certain predefined procedures that you can create 
and let me close this down and show you where we can create those. If you go under Inventory, Maintenance Procedures, we can create new maintenance procedures. So we created one here called Flame Retard where we wanted to create a, a, a summary of what we're going to do and we're putting it in under a preventative maintenance type service and put in the estimated cost. So now if we had serialized drapes that we want to keep track of the service record for those, when we log maintenance we could have a procedure that we were doing a procedure called flame retarding. Summary is just a, a quick little name that you could drop in for this item. Details are where you can put the finer details regarding this item. Details might be the job that it was last out on where it got, uh, where the item was marked as uh, that we needed to do maintenance on it. Any, any details that would help uh, the person performing maintenance would be put in this area. If you're logging it in, you don't have to charge any maintenance costs. You're just logging it in as maintenance. Reporter is a feature that sometimes is very useful for people if they are out on the um, out in the uh, in the field and they put a big white X with on tape on top of the case and mark you know bad tweet or something like that. The reporter is the person who out on the field marked the item as needing some maintenance. Mark is out of commission is a new field that we are adding on this uh, new feature, or we've always had it there, but now what we're doing is when we click this and hit save, it will actually launch a new um, uh, pop-up. So if we put um, bad fader 2 used on uh, IBM sales meeting, scratchy when adjusting volume. So the question here is I could say I could go and search for Devin and say Devin was the one who was out using this item and said it was bad. If we mark it as what's called out of commission we are taking it out and saying we're not going to send it out until it's repaired. Or we can leave it unchecked to say, hey, we just need to look at this item. It's still a functioning console and we can get away with it. That's kind of the option on the log maintenance where you can add an additional checkbox to say, let's take it out of commission and hit save. So this will create this new out of commission record and hit create. So what this did is it both logged maintenance and it created a out of commission record. If we go back to the serial numbers for all of these items and let's uh, refresh this item. It is now set as out of commission and our availability, our on-hand availability, will be reduced accordingly. Meaning that first number that if it was at the Denver location, it would have been reduced accordingly. So if you wanted to remove the out of commission flag here, we would have to resolve the out of commission flag itself. So we can hit resolve and take off that flag. And now it will no longer be out of commission. We could also log new maintenance to basically say what we did to the item just to track what happened. So we could log maintenance and uh, you know procedure. Maybe we have one called in-house repair. 
and maybe we sprayed out fader and we don't again we don't have to put in maintenance cost and we're just gonna hit save so we can just track when we did this is when it came in as a bad fader and this is what we did to fix it things like that so new reports that we have we have a report on maintenance, which is what is all the maintenance that has been logged for all items. So you could put in a start date and an end date to run a report for a specific time frame, or you could leave it blank, which would show you all maintenance log. We can print that out to either a PDF or Excel. But let's just generate all of our reports on our maintenance items. So here's all the maintenance that we've done on all of our items without any date filtering put in place. Um, now, out of commission, you may want to have a list of what's everything that's out of commission as of now. So you can look at these different items. And we could print that to either, again, PDF or Excel. We'll just hit it to PDF. And so right now, these are all of my items that are out of commission in the system as we speak. Now, a uh, final function. Oh, other places that we can get to log these maintenance and, and mark is out of commission. I'm going to find a barcode right now. Let's go to serial numbers. zero seven four two four if I were in the warehouse mode and I could be there in receiving stuff or free scanning anywhere in the warehouse mode I'm gonna go to my free scan in zero seven four two three and hit enter so its last known location was at the warehouse but we can hit this log damage button and it brings up this exact same scenario where we can put in a summary, procedure details, who reported it and mark it out of commission or, you know, what if it's coming in and we want to take it out of commission, we can click that and hit save. So you can either do it from the serial number detail or from the free scanning process. Let's also look at some speaker cables that we've gotten here. These are non-serialized items. So there's no way to go in and log a specific item as maintenance done on a specific issue or on a specific um, serial number because these aren't serialized. But we do have the ability to look at what items have been marked as out of commission and we can resolve them. We can just mark quantities of, as out of commission And we can get to that same functionality right here. You can put a quantity and a reason, etc. One of the features that I did notice that we will probably have to address in the near future is if you mark five as out of commission, when you resolve it, right now it is just resolving all of them. So that's some something that we'll have to look in the future as far as how we can uh, resolve maybe we fix one out of the five uh, right now it is just a resolve all button that we'll have to take a look at other things that we can do in here is look at our audit trail to get a, a overall history of things also again our audit trail is a very overall what is everything that has been done to this as far as prepped received scanned in marked as decommissioned out of commission we could also say, I want to look at when everything was marked as out of commission. So 
from here, I could say, I don't want to look at all of my uh, functionality. I just want to look at when they were marked as out of commission and when they were unmarked as out of commission. So I'm looking at these two issues and so here we've got it was marked out of commission on the 24th and then unmarked here same thing so all these using the audit trail we can look at the exact same sort of information finally decommissioning something is the ability to basically say we're taking it out of stock it is no longer in functionality and normally people will want to print out a report uh, at the end of the year as far as what have we decommissioned that we don't want to pay tax on through uh, for this year so to decommission something I'll look at this uh, serial number here and what you'll see on the top left is right now it's decommissioned status is set to no if we hit edit serial number detail on the very bottom we can mark it as decommissioned as yes and hit update that will give you a couple new fields it'll say that it has been decommissioned the date that it was decommissioned and the person who decommissioned it and our availability will be adjusted let's go back to our item so this one has now been decommissioned and our availability should be reduced accordingly we also have a report here called decommissioned report similar to everything else you can say let me show everything that was decommissioned from January 1st through today and spit that out as again either a PDF or an Excel. Let's show this in an Excel format. This may be helpful again for the uh, accounting department. So we're going to open up our Excel. Don't need to check for any updates. So the information that it put in this report the item name and barcode and serial number when it was purchased when it was decommissioned, who it was decommissioned by, and the purchase value of that item in the system, and when the report was uh, put in place. So that's a little bit of background on all the different functionality that we have for uh, logging maintenance, logging them as out of commission, and also decommissioning them.